Alright, so I've advanced the uh, story a little bit. Remember that I could switch to take the saddle off my old horse without going to the stables. So now I have my chestnut Arabian all saddled up. Let's not get hit by a train. And Oh, this is... Alright, so... This is the shooting contest. I need better... I need to clean my guns. So I need to head into town. Well, now I need to go see Hosea first. So I can unlock the fence. Yeah, good boy. Arthur took a nap, he got some stew back at camp, so he's good to go. Right, boy. And he's rocking the uh, white bison hat. <laughs> Everybody's going to make fun of him for it, so switch that out. Okay, settle down there. You ain't supposed to be here. Oh, don't mind me. I said go. Go. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. I can... Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Now he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. 
folks know we ain't intimate no more. They'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing you, cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah. You could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why it's perfect. You won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Hey, wait for me. the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. You see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning, and I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and... And then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. everything they'll know we were here.
place out. Dear boy. makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. work, Hosea. It's mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. All right, so we've unlocked the fence. Yeah, let's go meet Black Bell. One of the side missions. Yeah. Actually. Slow up now. Now let's go to Valentine. I do I have? Oh, I got 273. And you go buy a, another holster, bandolier. Oops. Stables too, and buy some hay and apples. You all right? Uh, you okay? That's it. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, buy 
my man Cassidy. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Have this. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Here. Yeah. Smoking anyway. Beats me, so it don't look like tobacco. Let's get out of here. Well, let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told you what an amazing woman you are? Oh, but you are. Let us be free and wild and bad, my dear. Let us make love like love has never been made before. Oh, oh. Let me take you to the plan. Well, that was pathetic for all of us. I had not seen that one before. Howdy. Okay, that's enough now. Can okay, I buy a newspaper now? <laughs> Can't buy a newspaper. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Everything's going to be closed to me. Honest mistake. Maybe build up my stamina anyhow. Reminds me I should pay my bounty at some point in time. <laughs>
now the newspaper boy's gone. Hey there. If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point, I say? Yeah. Wait till morning. Alright, let's see what we can get. Oh, that's the store. Alright, let's uh... Get a newspaper. Thanks. Have a great day. Get your news here, Valentine. Train robbed. Private train owned by the railroad shooter and oil magnet. Vicious Cornwall was robbed. Blackwater locked down. Bank boat heist largest robbery in years. Dutch's boys accused. Bounties placed. Blizzard aftermath and grizzlies. Family murdered. Hmm. 21 dead in attacks. Heresy. Religious sect recruiting. Claim Chelonians commit blasphemy. The Chelonians. Mexican border dispute. Search for ancient bones. Dinosaur hunt continues. New Hanover Hill is a geological wonderland. Bubonic plague spreads. <laughs> War breaks out in Philippines. Bear attacks. Worry residents. The Art of Angling by Jeremy Gill. New patron. Welcome. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Yeah, fair enough. Now there's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Yeah, let's see what we get here. No revolvers. I'll take the volcanic pistol, I guess. It's free. Yeah, I can worry about the components right now. Everything else is locked. <coughs> Varmint rifle. Upgrade the barrel. styles right now. Alright. Okay, get the Springfield rifle. And a scope. Yes. I'm right, not worried about making it fancy. Alright, stock up on ammo. Alright, now I got something I can hunt with. Pump action for sure. Yeah, maybe 
maybe I'll trick this out a little bit. I'll need a gold. I'll go with the uh, dark walnut, wild cherry, myrtle, mesquite. I like mahogany. I had 21 cents. Spent all my money. <laughs> I even have enough for gun oil. All right. This will be here when you need it. Better look next week. Hey, mister. Morning. All right, so we're going to go see, uh... You see Black Bell now, I suppose. Oh. Yeah, at least I'm slow out of town. Get oh, going. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a beverage. in the head or something? Oh, yeah, there's Mickey. Mickey. You never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. I <laughs> just slept on it. <laughs> What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him. <laughs> on account of his name. A fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Okay, boy. All right, here we go. Yep. We gotta make some money here. one out of five for the challenge. There was another one, I missed it. Come here. Come on. I'll do it now.
you look nice. Okay, boy. Yeah. You're okay, boy. Take that deer back yeah, to camp. You're doing good. You're all right. Right after Black Bell. That's it. Too hard. All right, we gotta stay on the road here so we don't get eaten by alligators. dead after this. I thought that would have killed him. Alright, I guess. Come on. I guess I can bring this to Seamus. Sell it. I need money.
yeah, that horse is going to, or that deer is going to decompose, so I better bring it back to camp first. I figured this might be of interest to you. Very nice. I'll find a good home for this. And this is for you. off before is useless. I'm not saying a lot as to uh, not have my voice ruin the beautiful scenery. That's it. can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. Good. We really needed this. Thank you, Arthur. Alright, so I did my part for the camp. Actually, Emmett Granger is closer. And then we'll go, uh... Rescue Reverend Swanson. Hey. 
This one's actually pretty funny. Patient too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be is correct. Then there's a long old one. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> Shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hard crap. Don't well, mind me. Talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. <laughs> oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like you. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. <laughs> and I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy. They scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. But what about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. Like a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Ugh. Hell, Ugh. that stinks. <laughs> okay, I clean up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You making a book? You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time, you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, 
Seeing as I cleaned up this big star, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! No. No. No! You did not! <laughs> you just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. I don't remember if I can get in this house. Yep. Man, right, what you got for me? Gun oil? Oh, a harmonica! I need that harmonica. Another crappy gun. Alright, so we got one of the uh, outlaws done. Wait a sec. Oh, I got Granger's revolver. Back here. Whip. Come on, horse, quit being difficult. Get back here. Yep. Wait. Yep. All right, now we go see Black Bell. Ah, oh, Reverend Swanson's closer. Idiot. Hello, mister. Hello. Hold up. Try your damn hand. Try it. Right. And I Mr. need to hit the head here. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. 
Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Fair just in time. I don't mean to spoil your fun. I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. You have no idea. Him now, you son of a bitch. No, 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 don't, don't kill him. Oh my God, kill him. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. I hate it when I do that. Oh well. Hey, you. Get back here. Yeah, the other way, sheep. <laughs> ah! Shit! <laughs> Bounty hunters. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill them. <laughs> ah, things like that happen. catch him. I can't call my horse. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please don't hurt me. You tell anyone. Oh shit. Oh man, again. <laughs> I'll learn how to play this game at some point in time. It's a classic case of need to uh, get good. I won't kick any sheep this time. For Christ's sake. Hey you, get back here. You better stop right there. Stay away from me. Stop, you son of a bitch. 
I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? Save Reverend. Come on, my friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help! Get it! Come on! <laughs> 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 Crazy bastard! Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Mark. Margaret, who's Margaret? What? <sighs> you can't rob him? Damn it. I see he's been out there working hard again. You'll work it out. Well, I was wondering when he'd show. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. John? You're too easy on him, Arthur. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just 
The usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. All right, now we can go see Black Bell. There he is. Morgan. I oh, get some stew. How are you, Mr. Morgan? Hey, Strauss. No, I can't get some stew. Why does Strauss get to eat? I don't. What kind of horse shit is that? Hey, Uncle. Hello there, Uncle. Arthur Morgan. Putting the world to rights there? Trying to, Mr. Morgan. Hey, I think my back needs some work, you know? All right, here we go. Yeah. There, boy. How much money do I have? Forty-nine dollars. And if you think this looks good, wait until GTA 6 comes out. And maybe even in my lifetime, I'm 48 now, I might even actually get to play Red Dead 3. <laughs> well, it's, it's going to take, uh, what is it, 11, 12 years to go from GTA 5 to GTA 6, and we're already five years away from five years from the release five and a half now of Red Dead 2 so uh, we're probably a quarter of the way there say another 10-15 years no, they, none of the, their games don't get any smaller <laughs> that's for sure I will make an entire separate video on what I think Red Dead 3 is going to be. And I'm also going to make a separate video on people calling this a cowboy game. But I got a pretty bad toothache right now, so I don't want to start bitching because I'll never stop. Camp up here. Oh, is this William? No. Nope. Hey there, friend. Want to take the weight off? Fire is good and hot. Hey there. Oh, this is the pervert. Me casa, su casa, friend. So, you got a girl, mister? Me neither. Got my eye on one, though. I was hunting north of Annisburg when I came across this cabin. 
when there's no one there but this woman. A bit bony, but beautiful as the day is long. Ah, the widow. Real elegant fancy type, too. I see how you like them, too, friend. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way. <laughs> Made me feel good. I watched her from the bushes for a while, saw her cry. I think this is a place I could really hang my saddle. A hot dinner and warm bed every night. Mmm, don't sound bad to me at all. All right, I need to cool down a bit. You know, I can't... Have we met before someplace? No. You don't, friend. Hell no. Nuh-uh. This is the last thing I need. Let's go, boy. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing good. That's it. Always switch your weapons in this game. All loaded up here. But yeah, you gotta stick to the road so we don't get eaten by alligators. That's it. Got me. I keep forgetting that this works differently than the uh, Dead Eye and Red Dead Online. See, in Red Dead Online, it doesn't stop. It doesn't slow down time. Switch my weapons. Turtle. to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. 
Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I ain't running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, the man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. So you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Sure. Okay, I got it. Then I guess they'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Shh. 
And that'll wrap up this video, and I'll be back in a bit with a new one.